Welcome back, everyone. I am so excited today because we get to talk about Maki Berry because I had the most wonderful trip down to Chile to investigate this. But I want to get back into talking about its auric value, its antioxidant power. Now, compared to most fruits, Maki Berry fruit contains the highest auric value per serving more than four times higher than strawberry and raspberry, three times higher than cranberry and blueberry, and three times higher than pomegranate fruit. But in addition, when you compare the liquid concentrate from the superfruit, maki is twice as high as mangosteen. When compared to the dry powder, the maki powder is three times higher than a saiz dried powder and the maki fruit and the seed powder is almost three times higher than the acai fruit and skin freeze dried powder. Now these numbers may not be important to you but they are vitally important to your body. And as a researcher I was stunned when I got to Chile and discussed these findings with Dr. Juan Hanke, the world's leading researcher on maki berry. But right now, let's focus on one of the properties found in high concentrations in the maki berries called anthocyanins. See, these are produced by plants for self-protection against sun, ir uh, irradiation, uh, disease, and even biological enemies. But with the harsh cold winter in central and southern Chile and the high amount of sunshine in Chile, these factors guaranteed high anthocyanins in the fruits and berries that are grown in that region. Well, the anthocyanins are antioxidant flavonoids that protect many body systems and have some of the strongest physiological effects of any plant compounds. But the anthocyanins were found in one study to have the strongest antioxidizing power of 150 flavonoids. Approximately 4,000 different flavonoids have been identified. But studies show that anthocyanins positive influences on a variety of health conditions. See, one reason is their anti-inflammatory properties, which affect collagen and the nervous system. See, their ability to protect both large and small blood vessels from oxidative damage derives from a range of effects, including mitigating microvessel damage from high blood sugar levels that cause complications in diabetics. Well, anthocyanins' anti-inflammatory ability has been shown to help dampen allergic reactions. In one study, Bulgarian researchers gave animals histidine, or I should say histamine, and serotonin, both of which cause allergic reactions and increase capillary permeability. Well, the animals were supplemented with a variety of flavonoids. Well, the anthocyanins were found to have the strongest anti-inflammatory effect of any flavonoid tested. Well, an animal study had shown that the cyanidins found in most fruit sources of anthocyanins had been found to function as a potent antioxidant, protected cell membrane lipids from oxidation by a variety of harmful substances, and is four times more powerful as an antioxidant than vitamin E. Well, this anthocyanin, well, well actually, let me kind of explain this to you. This is very complicated for some of us, but we'll get through it. But it's called anthocyanin delphidens, which interferes with this dangerous hydroxyl radical generating system. A lot of words, but it's a major source of oxidants in the body. Now, the maki berry contains one of the highest levels of the anthocyanins compared to all fruits, more than a hundred times more than a glass of red wine, more than ten times the level of acai berry powder. But today, Researchers believe that it is the anthocyanins and the phenols that may be responsible for their very low incidence of heart disease as the resveratrol concentration in wine seems too low to account for the cardiovascular health benefits. But these antioxidant compounds inhibit the oxidation of LDL cholesterol and inhibit the formation of blood clots. Furthermore, the anthocyanins in red wine are also protective against coronary heart disease since these red pigments inhibit cholesterol synthesis. Now, while red wine has a good quantity of anthocyanins and phenols, maki superberry has over a hundred times the anthocyanins and phenols compared to a glass of red wine. Well, while I was in Chile, I had the opportunity to interview Dr. Juan Hanke. 
the chief research scientist from the University of Chile, who is also the head scientist for the CTI Consortium, a nonprofit organization that has recently obtained a $5 million grant from the World Health Organization to conduct additional research on mocky berry. Now, before I move on with more information about the mocky berries, and before we go to break, or I should say after, we're going to be going to break in about a minute or so, but after that break, I want to show you a bit of my interview with Dr. Hanke while we were in Chile, because one th it was amazing. Dr. Hanke was an, is an amazing gentleman, highly intelligent, because he's done much research, not only in the areas of maki, but also other herbal compounds as well. He has a great research facility at the University of Chile, and as we were down there, uh, he and I got together and during our travels to South America, we had spent, oh, three, four days together and all we got to do was, was to talk and discuss about a lot of this research. Because what I'm going to share with you in the next segment is going to literally blow you away. Because when you talk about a fruit so powerful such as the maki, and when I talk about a deeply purpled fruit, see, color has everything to do with health benefits. The deeper the color, the darker the color, especially in this case, your anthocyanin contents are at their very highest, at their most potent. And that's what researchers are looking at because there is nothing more dark than a mocky berry. It is so dark, in fact, that it almost looks black. And when we think of berries, we're talking berries that are only about that big. But it's amazing that God can create something so small, but yet so powerful. Think of the mustard seed. We'll be right back after.